a low tech trans friends. As you have probably already noticed in some of the videos, I use cases and protective glass for the display on all my smartphones whenever possible. Even if the beautiful design of the smartphone is lost as a result, at today's smartphone prices of over $1000, I prefer that to a broken smartphone. And since I am a clumsy person, it's only a matter of time before I drop my smartphone. With the iPhone 13 mini, I actually used the original silicon case from Apple and was always happy with it. The biggest problem with these cases stuff is the price and now with the iPhone 14 Pro I wasn't willing to pay such a high price again. So I looked around for cheap cases and found them on AliExpress. In this video we take a closer look at these cheap cases and compare them with the original cases from Apple and talk about the advantages and disadvantages. First we need to talk about the prices. The original Apple silicon case costs $49 from Apple and most stores. Yes, you have that right, $49 for a silicon case. You can get a case for $4.65 on AliExpress. For the price of an original Apple silicon case, you can get 10 cases on AliExpress. So you can clearly say that AliExpress is definitely superior in this regard which is what you could expect. So I immediately ordered several of these cases in the colors blue, black, green and a kind of purple. And to top it all off, I bought an even cheaper fabric case for around $2. Shipping via AliExpress is known to take a little longer and a few weeks later, I finally got the package. Let's take a look at the cases. It was important for me that the cases had MagSafe because I charged my iPhone overnight via MagSafe and there was also a MagSafe holder in my car. As you can see the ring on the inside of the case, there is a magnet in the case. As a difference to the original case, it is positive that the camera is also completely surrounded and is therefore potentially better protected. I didn't notice any effects on the photo quality. The iPhone is protected with all its edges, inside is a softer material. What I can clearly say compared to the original is that the original Apple silicon case is better processed. However, these cases are not badly made either. The difference in quality would definitely not be $45 in my eyes. But a point that I definitely noticed negative, these cases catch more fingerprints over time. It's not like you have to wipe the case every day. But I didn't have the problem with the original cases. MagSafe works fine, the case attaches to any MagSafe accessory. Let's get to the most important point, protection. Clumsy as I am, I naturally dropped my smartphone on the asphalt. The fall was very violent but my iPhone was not damaged in any way. Of course, you can see a scratch on the cover, but it has to be said that the cover has fulfilled its duty. The fabric case, however, was a total disappointment for me. While it doesn't feel bad, it doesn't offer any good protection at all and is otherwise not of a very good quality. Let's keep it short and come to the conclusion. What else is there to say about the smartphone case? Apple silicon cases are of course very beautiful cases that are of high quality, but they are also very very expensive. If you are looking for a cheap alternative to these cases, you should definitely take a look at AliExpress, because these cases are similarly good and 10 times cheaper. As a positive effect of this price, you can order several cases and change the color from time to time to bring more variety to the look. I can only recommend these cases. What cases do you use? Do you have an insider tip? Write it in the comments, leave a like and subscribe. Until the next video, have a good time.